Hi, I'm Mark Pocan and welcome to Magic Mondays. About once a month or so, we're going to do a magic trick just for the fun of it because we need to have a little more fun uh, in Washington. The trick I'm going to do today tells you a little more, more about me personally. Uh, when I was 23 years old, I started a small business, a specialty printing business. And people say when you've done something for over half your lifetime, it's really in your blood. So I guess I have ink in my blood. But let me show you the trick that demonstrates this a little bit more. So what I want to show you is a card using some blank playing cards. This is the way they originally come from the factory before they're printed. They're blank on one side and blank on the other side. And what we do is we're going to take these cards and I'm just going to put them down on the table. And we're going to use these in just a second. And if you notice, I also have a deck of playing cards that are printed we're going to use in just a second. But let me just lay all these down. Um, and what we'll do, we've got one extra I'll just put aside. We're just going to grab this deck of playing cards and I'm just going to riffle through here and just stop. I stopped next to a nine of clubs. Let's see what the card is. It turns out it's a 10 of spades. We're going to use that in a second. Just want to show you the rest of the cards. It could have been any card. But what's interesting about these cards is they have a special coating on them. And what happens is uh, it's able to attract the ink and stick to it really quickly. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I took the back of the playing card and just put it next to it and give it a little flick, what will happen is the back will actually print onto the card. Now you can do the same thing with the face. You just take it and give it a little flick and sure enough you'll get an imprint but if you look real close you'll notice it's actually a reverse imprint. If you know anything about printing you need a reverse imprint in order to make that happen and sure enough from that reverse you can print a positive of the card. I was doing this one time and I took a card and I got talking a little bit and I forgot that I was already printing something and I took another card up next to it and sure enough when you do that what you wind up with is a double imprint of the cards. Now, people ask, do you have to print the whole card or can you only print a part of the card? And you don't have to print the whole card, but you can print just enough that it's touching and it'll print only a little part of the card. Another thing people ask me is, uh, when you print these, uh, does the ink dry instantly? And I always say, you know, it doesn't necessarily dry instantly because if you catch it, you could smear the ink a little bit. Um, but uh, it just takes a second and then it's there permanently. Uh, another thing that's interesting under that same principle, if you take a couple cards, put them together, give them a little spin and look what happens all the pips wind up uh, spinning in different directions. And of course, another thing you can do is you take it and as you're printing it and before that ink dries, just shake those pips down a little bit and look at that. They all wind up on one side of the card. That's how a magician uh, who's a printer does, prints playing cards. Like I said, a magic trick, hopefully just for the fun of it. I hope you enjoyed Magic Mondays. We'll see you next week with a little bit more message about Washington, D.C. Thanks for watching.